more. Hello, Nixus. All right. We totally didn't have internet issues, but we are now back. We have 509 essence. Let's increase our magic attack a little bit because we haven't increased that. Swap cooldown can go up. Hell, you know what else can go up? Crit rate. Let's get that up by 6% because we're feeling frisky. All right, let's keep it going. We got the exact same thing as last time. And this time we get increases physical attack by 20% and a 2% chance to poison which is pretty cool. We have a little bit more damage and a little poison chance. Now let's go out and see what we can do. So chat, how has your Saturdays been? Any fun plans? It's totally the first run of the day. Uh, first run of the day. How are the Saturdays going? My stream deck stuff is not working, so this is incredibly awkward. Oh, never mind. That's working. My stream deck stuff is working. I'm just a silly little man. Shoddy, please pick up the phone. Shoddy, please don't leave me alone. Shoddy, I'm sorry for how everything went. Shoddy, I'm at the club right now in my bend. Come on, Shoddy. Did Ayaz ever make another song besides Replay? These are the questions that pop in my mind. And if you don't know who Ayaz is, get your fucking life together and go listen to Replay. I'm sure you've heard it. You made it to the Hand King on twice in 5 BC and died both times. You had no health going in. How is 5 BC? Horrible. So what's up? My mom, of course, called right as the stream started. Oh, we had internet issues, so I had to restart. But here we are now. We're back. We're talking about shoddy, like a melody in my head that it can't keep on. Got me singing like na 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 every day. It's like my iPod. It's stuck on replay. But we're going to win a Skull the Hero Slayer run today. Maybe. Maybe not. And then going to play Dead Space because why not? You're going to redeem horizontal time warp. I was wondering if you could try and make a long face like Kermit. Sorry. You can't force the horizontal time warps like that. Got to let them be all natural, baby. Now, if you want me to talk like Kermit, that's another thing. I can pull off the Kermit the Frog here voice anytime I want. But I can't look like Kermit because, you know, it ain't easy being green. Ah, that wasn't that good for a Kermit. That wasn't that good. I don't need health. Increases crit rate by 5% chance, so we have an 11% chance to crit. Uh, 11% chance to crit. I will take it. Let's do one restock. Physical attack by 30%. But increases HP by 25%. That sounds horrible, Petri. And that, I'll be honest, that doesn't sound fun. That doesn't sound that fun. Serious, I landed on the bomb. Are you serious? I keep dashing onto the goddamn bomb. I don't know what that item does. Does that increase crit rate? Crit damage by 35%. I have half my health because this game. Dashes are considered attacks. 
Sure. Why not? Hasn't had too much of an effect on me except for an additional the additional enemies only because it's incentivizing you to go fast, which you do already. Eh. Ah. We have 10 bone fragments. Let's upgrade our boy right here. Alright, I need to get money so I can get some health back because I don't have a lot of health. I have, like, no health, actually. I have a lot of damage, but I don't have a lot of health. Dude, I have four health. Oh, my God. What? what? What just killed me? Die from a trap? Are you kidding me? What's up, not good gamer? Good morning. I died to a freaking wall vine. Uh, okay, let's just go back to the castle. Let's just go back. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Pretend that didn't happen, okay? We actually had some good stuff, too. We had some good ones, man. Decrease the swap cooldown? Uh, sure, I guess. Let's try it again. We'll go skull first, so maybe we get a better skull than the original one. We have our swap cooldown being higher, which... I'd rather have something else other than swap cooldown. Okay, he's dead. I like getting some physical attack up in the beginning. Uh, is this the shield one? That is the shield one. The shield one's pretty good. Shield one's not bad. We can upgrade that one. This game has... This game gives me the old classic feeling of the more I play, the worse I get. Which is weird because I've gotten more upgrades for my character the more I play. But I still feel like I've gotten worse. How did I just take 10 damage to that guy? I hate the goddamn trees. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Oh, okay. I like that ability. I like that cooldown that we got right there. That's a good one. Deal physical damage to a random nearby enemy every 13 seconds. Upon attacking with normal attacks, there's a ninja star that deals physical damage. On a critical attack, there's a giant ninja star that deals physical. Does uh, your mother know who I, I am? I guess we could do that. Bitch. Hello, Vale Hulk. The Archer Skull. Are you playing this game as well, Nixus? Or just from watching? Hoka, thank you for the 48 months of the tier one sub. And hello. Does your mother know who I am? Bitch. What up? Abstract. I thought that said Sunday morning for a second, and I was about to be like, wait a minute, am I streaming on my day off? Because I don't want to do that. What up, Diggity Dan? How you doing? We get increased damage anywhere? Increase HP, increase crit rate. I guess we'll increase crit rate and HP by a little bit, but I need more damage still. Every roguelike game you play on stream, I get as well to try. All the games I play, you end up playing. I'm glad I can have that influence. Good morning, Reld. Oh, my dude missed.
That's good against mobs. I wouldn't think that thing is good against bosses, though. Slowly restores HP when current HP is 30% or less. That's actually kind of nice. Good morning, everybody waking up. You guys didn't see the stream crash earlier. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Shadow Spear, ah, no, no, no magic damage. When you use the Quintessence, the Overlord causes an explosion that deals physical damage. Has a 50% chance to reset the cooldown. 50% chance to reset the cooldown. I like those odds. I don't have any bones yet, so I can't upgrade anything, which is kind of a shame. No werewolf skull by me yet. When I first played this game last year, I actually used the werewolf skull quite a bit, but haven't really used it on uh, this playthrough set, I guess. I've been using the, uh, the shield one more often. Because they give you a nice little shield when you use them sometimes, and they're good to upgrade. What up, Mr. Monk? How you doing? Did see Dead Space brick my PC? We don't need to talk about Dead Space bricking my PC, okay? We don't need to talk about that. That's, uh, that's old news. The PS5 version was just right. Why are you still alive? I kind of regret getting the new ability with the, uh... The shield guy. Don't really need a new ability with him. Kind of liked what I had before. Yay. I think this guy gives you food. Yeah, they give you food. Eh. Eh. We'll see if this is a mistake picking this one up. Increases attack speed by 20%, physical attack by 30%, sure. Roadhog, yep. Dead Space was good, minus the PC version not working at all for me. The PC version of Dead Space, I wasn't able to use a controller. The frames were horrible. Um... The mouse and keyboard barely worked. I couldn't sprint. I couldn't reload. I couldn't really do anything. So I requested for a refund on the gift, and then I bought it on PlayStation. For a good old $100. Yeah! Expensive money! Mm, I think I'm gonna keep this guy. Ghoul is incredibly strong in lower difficulties if you know what you're doing. Well, good thing I don't know what I'm doing with Ghoul. But hey, let's see how good he is. Should've just bought the non-remake. I mean... It's whatever, really, you know. What can you do? What's up, Tracer? The Dead Space remake. But people, I need to remind y'all. I live in Canada. Games are more expensive in Canada because the Canadian dollar is absolutely horrible. So everything is more expensive here. Non-remake is on 
Game Pass? Yeah, but the remake has a lot of quality and life improvements that make the game more fun. You guys are acting like the, the you guys are acting like the original one is like better than the re, than the remake. I feel like for a first time Dead Space experience, maybe maybe the remake is better. Game Pass has everything in the world, though. All of you guys, just become variety streamers and kill your chan- I mean, grow your channel with the greatness that is variety. Definitely not kill your channel. Definitely not kill your channel with variety. All out only stream. All out was kind of successful. What's up, Natalie? How you doing? Was the Dead Space remake a failure? No, I think it's getting good reviews overall. People are liking it. You take no damage from traps and use the quintessence. You summon a random riddle trap. This quintessence caught up to two charges. When you uh, quintessence jump in, <laughs> when you use this quintessence, quintessence, when you use this quintessence, you take no damage from traps. Using a skill grants a 10 HP period that lasts for one second. Taking damage increases physical attack by 6%. Increases attack speed up to 75 portion your HP loss. 10 HP barrier would be kind of cool, but. We'll get that one. Just get more viewers instead of losing viewers. If only it was that easy. Even in the saturated... If I streamed Overwatch 2 on my main account, I would get less viewers, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> EA will say it's below expectations. EA will say it's below expectations because EA has expectations that are way too high for everything. Ubisoft. Ubisoft said Mario and Rabbids was below expectations for sales, but it was like top in the charts for a little bit. So they just had way too high of expectations for a game that's not going to sell that well in the beginning, because I think the market is smart enough to know that a game by Ubisoft will go on sale in a short amount of time, in a few months after the release. Why pay $70 for a game or $60 for a game, however much it is, when you can get that game for a much cheaper price in a short amount, in like a few months? Like... Of course the game's not going to have a lot of sales because we all know it's going to go on sale for a cheaper price. Why the hell should we try to rush to the stores to try to get this? You know what I mean? I'm going to play Dark and Darker with you on February 6th. Probably not because of my docket of games that I have. I still don't know what Dark and Darker really is. That was the game you were playing for a little bit and then it kind of just like disappeared. It went, it, I think the play test ended, right? <sighs> You're waiting for the Dead Space remake to go on sale? Give it some time, it'll go on sale eventually. You like butts? Who doesn't? No, I don't want to change up my skills. A lot of things, unreasonable growth in the last two years is just correct and new to normal, but companies see it as below expectations. Companies only want money. And they have this budget and they expect a game to sell X amount and make them X amount of money and then they don't get it and then it's below expectations, then people get fired. I feel like you can say that with every Ubisoft game, because every Ubisoft game ever just goes on sale after, like, two months after it comes out. So, like, you, unless you have to, like, make content on, like, a new game. Like, if you're just a casual person in the market, you have no reason to go out and buy, you know, the latest and greatest from Ubisoft. 
Who wants to play a Ubisoft game? Hey, they have Mario and Rabbids in Assassin's Creed. When was the last time they made a game worth getting? Like, do you mean worth getting not on sale? Because I do think some of their games are definitely worth it on sale. Full price? Pfft, beats me. I haven't bought a Ubisoft game in so long. <laughs> I haven't bought a Ubisoft game in so long. Taking damage restores 1 HP. That seems like not that good. Like 1 HP for 1 damage is not that good. Raymond Legends in 2014. Oh yeah, they have Raymond as well. Ubisoft has some pretty big freaking names for ISPs. They got like Far Cry, they got Assassin's Creed, they got Raymond, they got Rabbids. They got a bunch of bike games that nobody gives a shit about. Sellyman, how do I use this character? Swapping is still working well. I have 195 HP also. I have a good amount of health. Oh, I didn't finish. Never buy a game around release. There's just too many games I already have to play. You know, uh, every time when we check those freaking top game sales of all time and franchises, I'm honestly surprised every time I see Assassin's Creed up there. Like, Assassin's Creed is really popular. They just make so many games that who cares? I always forget how popular Assassin's Creed truly is. Hey, Mello. I need attack speed to go up. Oops, I blinked. There's a new Assassin's Creed. Basically, that's how it feels. Oh, yeah, it's the X for the hook. Uh, that bike game, Alu? That's the game I think you're thinking of. It's like that BMX bike racing game. That looks like it should have been free to play. I forgot about that game. The biggest thing about it is when you upgrade him, he gains an ability to heal all the damage he takes if you get hit. If you get enough flesh. So just be overly aggressive and heal. Needs rarity increase first, though. Oh. I would imagine I'll need 100 bones for that rarity increase, or like 70 bones. Boss fights. Ugh. 
30? Oh, it's only 30 bones. If I destroy this, I can upgrade it. <sighs> I don't want to read all that. Alright, X down. That's how I get my health back. I need five flesh stacks. I just heal my HP by five. What up, Zio? How you doing, Zio? How I took damage. Clown boy. Do I want the clown? I kind of do. With the build that we have, I guess. Oh, you need the tactically in. Oh, Lord. help. It does not seem to be working in my favor. I see the white bar. I see it. I'm not, I feel like I'm kind of throwing trying to do all this, to be honest. I need a big heal here. 35% of health, sure. That's a t that's tough to play with. What do we have? Every 20 seconds creates a wall, increases dash attack damage by 80%. Dash attack gain 10% chance to inflict a wound. Increases physical attack and magic attack by 30%. Alright. Streamers back. Yeah, I wasn't going and I was only going to be gone for a few seconds.
I was only going to be gone for a few seconds. All I had to do was restart my internet. Do you see the banana man? Hello, banana man. Somebody drop some health for me. Damn. I just lost five extra health. I might die here, man. I might die here. We're on the boss, but we do not have a lot of health. I'll try to use this guy, but we'll see. At least we made it to the second boss. I've been making it to the second boss quite consistently. It's just a matter of, you know, winning against them. I got one of them down. Oh my god, I thought they got me for a second. Jesus Christ. God, these second bosses. Can I get some health now? <sighs> 70 health back. All right. Uh, generate an evil eye on a stunned enemy to deal magic damage over time. When you use Quintentions, the evil eye blinks its giant eye, dealing magic damage to nearby enemies. 
When you throw Quintus... Uh, I, I like my Quintus. That increases attack speed by 20%. Every third normal attack casts Golden Wound on the nearest enemy dealing physical damage. That seems kind of nice. I'll get rid of the throwing star. And he's done it. The second boss is done. Oh, God, that's such an annoying fight, dude. I'm so bad. Oh, it was a beautiful day. Had it been long since the peace treaty with the humans was signed, so you headed to Carleon Castle. The fact that the peace treaty... Wait. The fact that the peace treaty proceeded without a hitch was quite suspicious, so I felt the need to look into it. In Carleon, the totally unnecessary banquet was underway. Many people were gathered in one place, but for some reason, none of them looked happy to be there, as if they were dissatisfied with something. In order to find out why, I hid myself among them and listened in on the conversation of someone that looked like an officer. They looked pretty serious, so I figured I'd be able to gather some information. However, it was a waste of my time. All they did was ridicule and mock the first hero. They looked like the type prone to envy and jealousy. Petty humans. Why don't humans change? Tired of their misery, I tried going elsewhere. That's when I saw the little boy. He looked rather angry. I think he watched as they mocked the hero. He always looked up to the first hero, his idol. A man went somewhere else after talking, but the boy followed him. Is he trying to get back at him? Or maybe trying to ask him to apologize for the first hero? If it were anybody else, I wouldn't have cared at all. But after hearing what the Demon King had said about the boy, I was a little curious, so I tailed him from behind. The man the boy was after didn't go back to his home, but instead went to the deeper ends of the banquet. He then started doing some things that looked very suspicious. Suddenly, a secret door appeared. A man looked over his shoulder and moved toward the hidden door, a secret door in the middle of Carleon, but for what purpose? In that split second where I was lost in my thoughts, the little boy followed the man and I missed my chance to stop him. He's not even scared. Could he really become a hero one day? I was inspired by his bravery, and without even thinking, I too headed towards the door. Ugh, it's a lot of reading. Gonna read. Alright, we're in the Black Lab, the third area out of, I think, five. Huff, huff, kid, did you make it out too? They took you as a test subject. Unforgivable, those alchemists. How far did they go with you? Did they place something in your body? Those who defied them or ran away exploded because of that thing. Keep your eyes open. If we can get past them, we'll get out very soon. What do you mean you're going inside? You're out of your mind. Hold on a sec. I'll go out, I'll go out first and call the Demon King army. Beware of the golems they create. Don't be the first to die. Oh, Lord. I'm going to die. I need 30 bones to upgrade this. I'm six bones short. all these new enemies we need to fight and I really need to get 30 bones uh let's get rid of this because I don't really have good stuff for magic damage there's a guy exploding in the background I don't got time to look in the background I got I got people to kill. Who's this guy? Oh, a skeleton has come to save me. That's quite a sight to see. Are you hurt? This place is quite dangerous. You better be careful, especially that man. His followers and everyone else in here are crazy. I'd love to help you, but I'm too weak to do so right now. Alchemists are the worst. I'll get back to the Demon King Castle and rest up. After that, I'll think of a way to help you out. All right, he can help us out, I think. Attacking a burning enemy creates a pillar, increases skill cooldown speed by 100%, taking damage and nullifies the item effect for 10 seconds. After using a skill, use Mana Eater to stab an enemy in front of you by performing a normal attack doing physical damage. Destroying these doesn't have any benefit, it looks like. 
But I just destroyed it anyways. This is our best run yet, gamers. This is our best run yet. I hope we can find a checkpoint to upgrade, because I think I'll be able to upgrade at least once. You gotta grab the upgrade that lets you sell items. This should not be an upgrade. You... Of course, there's an upgrade that lets you sell items that you have to freaking get. Of course, I can't, I can't even grab any of these. Can't grab any of these. I could grab this. When you use the quintessence, move behind the nearest enemy and deal physical damage. If enemies hit by the specter's attack are killed within one second, the quint... Oh, I'll buy that instead. I can destroy this for three extra health. I'll take it. What up, Chibi? more skull yay you may be the only person saying yay to more skull the hero slayer you and Sullivan. shit I almost landed on it landed on it I've never fought the third boss in this area so this should be exhilarating I got some good health back there Increases magic attack by 25% chance in the crit damage. I don't know. For each enemy nearby, increases physical, it decreases. Uh, dude, I just... I don't need any of those. I have to fight three fucking bosses? Are you kidding me? We're screwed. What up, Twitch account? How are you doing? Boss son of the FTR and you keep making it to the flagship, but then get thoroughly destroyed. The flagship's hard in FTL. But you know what's also hard in this game? Why the... I, I feel like this game is a problem just like Wizard of Legend. They make it excessively hard.